Peace family, Doc in the building. And I'm coming to do a short video because I posted a video about a young lady who was a raw foodist uh, slash fruitarian with some nuances and she died at 39. And um, this is not the first time this has happened. This has happened uh, quite a few times by people who make adjustments to their diet without the scientific underpinning. And so uh, one of the things that I have done over the years is do a lot of diagnostic work and even self-study. I went 23 years without eating any type of animal flesh myself, but I did it um, with the ability to do diagnostics on myself uh, over the last 13 of those years in a very uh, specific way. And I found out exactly why eating raw food diets, um, fruitarianism, uh, plant-based um, exclusively is very dangerous. And it you, you probably never heard of this before, but it comes down to how the body uses energy and how it synthesizes um, its tissues, its proteins. And so uh, most of you have heard of ATP. ATP, adenotriphosphate, is basically how uh, your cells run on energy. And I mean, you can do your research on ATP and its functions and operations. But what most of us don't know about is GTP and all of its enzymic uh, operations around it, guanosine triphosphate. And so these are two energy cycles that operates in plants and animals. But when it comes to animals, we have a higher rate of GTP. And unfortunately, when you're eating uh, fruitarian diets and raw food diets, the excessive levels of ATP produced become inhibitors to GTP. Now, why is this important? Because GTP is super, super, super important in synthesizing proteins. And so what happens when people go on fruitarian diets, they start to lose weight, get a little skinny, but then it continues over long periods of time. And this continuation uh, leads to a, a, a great amount of health disorders. Um, one of the main ones that men will find is that their sperm motility is decreased because of how the various enzymes that help synthesize uh, GTP help with sperm motility. And so I could go on and on about this subject, but I'm saying that people who advertise these diets to you, they are not scientifically uh, aware enough to guide you. Um, and you're going to encounter some problems, especially later in your life. So uh, get the food science diets down, uh, get our book, Advanced Guide to Healing Thyself. It'll walk you through some of these things that I'm talking about, and you can have food science guiding you instead of fads.